All righty, all facts media here with Coppin State volleyball head coach Tim Walsh. The Coppin State Eagles just defeated uh, Norfolk State in three straight sets, three to nothing, um, on senior night. So the U.S. have two seniors tonight, uh, Christopher Johnson and, and Asia Stennis. So talk about the impact that those two have had um, on the program over the year and, and over the last couple of years of Coach State. Yeah, so this is my third season with uh, Christopher and Asia. Um, coming in, you know, it was a program that needed to be rebuilt. Um, and they were two people that I saw that could be in a leadership role um, and really help the program grow. Um, so they've been working hard since the day I walked in the door. And, um, you know, I truly appreciate all the effort and, and uh, leadership that they provided with the other girls to help build this program to where it is today. So it's good stuff from both of them. Sure. Um, obviously, you know, last year you guys had the youngest team in Division One, um, like you mentioned the two seniors before. Um, how have they kind of been leaders to kind of help uh, bring the young players along so far this season? Yeah, so besides like drills and things like that, you know, off the court, they want to show them like, hey, we're doing this academically. Uh, academics are really important for our program too. So um, they've been pushing them on and off the court. Asia's been a great leader. Uh, she has a really tough major. She's a nursing major, so the girls really look up to her um, to balance that Division One life of being a, uh, an athlete and a student. So um, Asia's like one of the best here at Toppin. So it's been really good in that sense as well. Now, Krista, uh, she's third in school history in blocks. I think she had a few today as well. Talk about her, her impact um, on the court uh, for you guys. Yeah, so apparently Krista was uh, a right side um, before me, and then we moved her to the middle. Um, she moves really well laterally. Um, she's aggressive at the net. So even though she's super, super undersized, um, she gets the job done. So she, she owns her position, and um, you know she's made a name for herself at Coppin, um, but also in the MEAC. I think she's top five in blocks and um, top five in hitting percentage in the whole conference as well. So she's, she's been great uh, in the middle for us. Today you guys were able to win in three straight sets. What do you think was working well for you guys today? Um, I think just being serving aggressive. Uh, we had a few serving errors, but um, you know the aggression's there, um, and the communication's been pretty good for us. So um, as long as we keep staying positive and keep talking uh, and you know have that unity on the court, I think it's going to propel us uh, in, the, in the playoffs. So, um, speaking of playoffs, like you said, you guys are kind of winding down the regular season. Um, you guys are riding thinking things. You got Howard and Morgan State uh, coming up. You know, two teams that you guys lost to originally. Um, what do you think you guys are um, going to have to do going forward? Kind of get some wins and, you know, have some momentum going to the playoffs. Yeah, so we're going to have to play with our weaknesses and, and work hard and try to make them not um, as big of a weakness. And we're going to have to scout really well. Uh, so we're going to have to watch film as a team and, and really pinpoint what the other teams do. Um, and then I think really just focus on us and what we have to do and, and our game and the type of volleyball that we play. Um, and, you know, hopefully that, that's enough to, to win against us. All right, that's all we have. Thank you for your time and good luck going forward. Sure, thank you. Appreciate it.